Rocket Beck gets stuffed. Nice roof by Nebraska. He did the rest. Just have it. Nice dig by Lloyd, the freshman, but it goes, it goes off to the left. Cal with game point. And Pavin saves another one. Holloway, back to Pavin. Sarah Pavin. Pavin, and that one's going to touch the floor, and now it's 29-29 in the second game. And there you see. Oh, boy. That is lights out. Yeah, you can see it there. I mean, that, that play was initiated by Rachel Schwartz, the libero for Nebraska. Nice dig for her here. Gives Holloway the perfect opportunity to set Pavin. Pavin. Probably was until Polini did it. There's a kill by Pavin. Sarah Pavin, and it painted the line over on the left side. Pavin. And right off the back row, and that was Carly Lloyd who couldn't handle the kill. And again. A new record that was set in the semis two nights ago, and Terry Pettit, a big reason why. Pavin. And Lloyd can't control the dig, and Sarah Pavin. Nice up by Banner. Here's Pavin. Just lands on the line. Pavin. Pavin right off Christian Ball. To Pavin. 2006 was able to get a red shirt as Pavin gets the kill there. Cross boom to Holloway looking for Pavin out of the back with the crusher. And it all starts with the. Pavin. Oh! And can you believe it? Jackers. Pavin just pumped that one right out of the air. What a job by Hope. 18 and 18. Oh! Pavin gets her cuts all night long. Team, one of their fearless leaders. And Holloway to Pavin out of the back. Push back to Pavin and nobody there, and that's dangerous. Busboom digs it up. Pavin back row. And that time Pavin gets a good swing on it. And when that happens, a four-point lead now for Cal in this third game. And when you need a point, you go to Sarah Pavin. And you see Pavin coming off the net with a little more animation, a little more grinta, like they say in Italian. She wants to get... Back to Pavin. Pavin for the match! 18 kills. Her teammate, Hanna Chuchara, has 20. And... Well, Pavin stepping up. Oh, she is long. Pavin a big swing at Pavin. Kills and uh, aces, a very versatile talent. As Pavin gets the kill, that's again hoteling with a dig and big. Holloway goes to Sarah Pavin. Yeah. And Cuso dug up, but Pavin is right there for Nebraska. Pavin. Dig by hoteling. She continues to add to her career high. You know, it's so crazy as you're watching to keep it up. And Pavin with the finish cross court. And John Dunning told us before the match that he is digging Pavin. We're not going to block her. And for about the last five kills, they've been unable to do that. Pavin going inside the block this time. And Stanford Holloway looking for Pavin. Back to Pavin. Bus boom. Back to Pavin. Pegou. Fofão. Sara. Ponto Rio. Décimo ponto do Rio de Janeiro.
E mais uma bela defesa da Fabizinha, proporcionando aí esse contra-ataque e colocando a Sara Pavan de novo no jogo, fazendo mais um ponto importante. Minas é a chance do 12 ponto com Sara. 13 e 12. 13 para Campinas, 12 para o Rio de Janeiro, Sara Pavan. Ela canhota, tá vendo nessa posição, é sempre muito difícil de achar um canhoto nessa posição. Então ela atacou muito bem, buscou uma diagonal curta ali, parabéns. Excelente. Aí vem a canadense Sara Pavan, mão esquerda, mão pesada, grande saque, desconcertante. Não teve jeito, né, da Sassá, olha só, trabalhar o passe, ó. A Sassá não estava bem posicionada, o saque veio forte, mas uma passada lateral ela conseguia equilibrar um pouco. E o que atrapalhou ainda é que a Fabiana cruzou a frente dela. Continua a Sara sacando muito. Outro ponto de saque. Sara Pavan, 18 a 10 para o Rio de Janeiro. Já vem sendo um destaque nesse primeiro set. A oposta do Rio de Janeiro, muito bem no saque, muito bem no bloqueio e nos contra-ataques. Tem pontos em todos os fundamentos, né, Carlão? Até aqui, ó, a Sara Pavan. Olha o saque da Sara. Quando a mão está calibrada, quando a mão está no azeite, né, Carlão? É difícil de segurar, né? Entrou muito confiante, determinante a canhota do Rio de Janeiro. E aí fica muito...